remember uh, I went for a holiday and uh, 10 days later when I wanted to come back, I bought another jean with uh, a large size so as to come back because I could not put on my own clothes. So when I came back, I was shocked. <laughs> Hello, Mina. How are you doing? Hi. Uh, I'm great. Thank you so much. Happy to hear. It's a pleasure to have you here on the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank it's you great. for uh, having me. Thank you. For sure. It's an honor. You know, all the way there from the far France. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Mina, I, I have a question. You know, many times today we're so busy and, you know, everyone talk about it you know, movement and exercise. But then at the same time, we're living in one of the most busiest times that we're always busy being busy. So how, first I wanna hear from you, why, why did you understand that, you know, movement and exercise is so important through your life and you, you really change your life with that. And, you know, later on I also want to understand how can people that are busy find time to do exercise? What can they do anyways? What, what type of movement can they do? But first, if you could share with us more, you know, your story, how you understood the importance. Could you, you had a lot of commuting, driving back and forth. You were a lot, you know, you were a lot on the road. So I, I would love to hear. Yeah, it's a great uh, topic and I love it because I am passionate about well-being, all about uh, movement, uh, nutrition, etc. And I can tell you my story with the, uh, movement and uh, keep my body in a good shape because I always uh, do work out all the time but uh, I knew a period when even if I was doing my workout every day I was gaining weight and uh, it was a period when I shifted from uh, students to a full-time job as you have said I have another kind of uh, busyness <laughs> at work in a stressful environment. And um, I started to have uh, a different relationship with the uh, food, for example. I start, uh, as you know, when we are uh, at work, we have uh, a machine when we can uh, buy a chocolate bar, etc. So oh, sure. if you... <laughs> <laughs> If you spend uh, our time at work from morning uh, until evening and uh, snacking all the time, we can uh, gain weight uh, easily. And especially if we don't have time to do uh, workout. So uh, four years later, I gained weight and uh, I started to don't feel good in my body, my new uh, size, etc. And this was even if I was always doing my workout. So uh, even though I you were guess, doing your workout, you were still gaining weight. Yes, and I understood that uh, if we wanted to have a good body shape, it does not depend only on workouts, but nutrition and workout both have a balance between uh, both of them. Uh, choose how we nourish our body, uh, good quality of nutrient and food, and also move our body. Because mm -hmm. uh, without moving our body, even if we eat well, we can gain weight because we don't move our body. So for me, nutrition and uh, fitness are very important so as to have a good body shape. Uh, and uh, yes, we, we know uh, now that uh, most of people are busy, they don't have time. But if we want to keep to take care of ourselves, of our health, of our body, we can find time to exercise. And it does not. Um, we doesn't. Uh, we don't need a lot of time. We can uh, do. 20 minutes every day, 
uh, in the morning or well, wait we'll, we'll we'll get there in a second we'll get there in a second ah, but okay. i, wa I want to go back a second and yeah. instead of your a few really key you know key important words that i, I want to you know cycle back to them so you said that neither only nutrition or only exercise is enough we need to do a combination of both so when yeah. you do that combination of both you said you started gaining weight and then you start doing the combination of both what happened to you like first were you able to lose the weight number one and number two in addition to only losing weight was there any other feeling that you felt like did it change the way you feel when you when you did that combination of both nutrition and exercise of course so before uh understanding all these things i suffered a lot i gained weight i was depressed i started to isolate myself and um, i remember uh, i went for a holiday and uh, 10 days later when i wanted to come back i bought another jean with uh, a large size so as to come back because i could not put on my own clothes so when I came back, I was shocked. I start to compare my own clothes with the new large jeans and I was shocked. So I decided I take the decision that I want to put my own clothes again. And um, I gave myself 30 days so as to lose the weight that I have uh, gained. Only 30? So, Yes, 30 days, because I decided not to, to buy another jean, uh, another things. I decided to wear the same jeans until I lose the weight. Wow. So imagine we women, we want to change our dress every day. And as I was working... A few times a day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, as I was working every day and I decided to wear the same jean. I, of course, I changed uh, the top, but uh, I was wearing the same jean because we women, when we uh, gain weight, we gain weight, especially um, um, lower body. You know, yeah. lower. So I uh, decided not to buy anything else and to do everything to lose the weight I gained. And I started to look everything about nutrition, fitness, stress management, time management, and uh, started to compare my life before, what is happening now, why I gained weight, etc. Mm -hmm. And I found that I was not fulfilled in my current uh, job at this moment, at that moment, and I, I developed um, a food addiction i started in the beginning i started to eat to turn to eat so as to have uh, pleasure comfort because it was a stressful environment and i was uh, eating chocolate bar in the morning before lunch in the afternoon uh, after lunch uh, even if at all night the time. <laughs> all the time and uh, sometimes i ca i could uh, it and six uh, chocolate bar a day, so it was huge. And uh, I started to compare myself before and the moment why I developed this uh, uh, behavior, etc. And I understood that I was not fulfilled in the job I was doing. I was in a stressful environment. Uh, everything was changed. Uh, for me so uh, it impacted my mindset my behavior my nutrition and all these things even if I continue to exercise because I love swimming I do to the gym etc but I was gaining weight because all what I was eating even if I do my workout, it does not uh, work because um, uh, I was stressing myself, my body, and uh, eating junk food, and uh, I gained weight. So uh, when I started to compare between what, what I was doing before and at this moment, 
I noticed that I was eating a lot of sugar, a lot of things that I was not eating before. And uh, I started to adapt my nutrition and fitness. And in 30 days, I lost weight. The wow. gene becomes, became large and I started to put on my own clothes. So wow. First, I started, congratulations. I started to have my smile again because um, in the period when I gained weight, I was suffering. I was isolating myself from people. And uh, when I lost uh, weight, I started to have feedback from my colleague asking me what I did, etc. And uh, since then, now it's more than 15 years, I have never uh, known gaining weight anymore. And wow. uh, I was always giving healthy lifestyle tips to my colleague, etc. Because I adapted my new lifestyle to this busy life, full-time job, uh, hectic life because um, I live in Paris and uh, Paris is a beautiful city for a tourist <laughs> but living every day is a hectic life because uh, it's not uh, easy every day and when we have this hectic life uh, and don't have enough time uh, to do what we want I understood that there are things that I can uh, adjust uh, so as to to live the life I want. So managing my time, organize myself, uh, wow. managing stress, and having a healthy uh, lifestyle with a good nutrition, fitness every day. I do workout every day, and uh, it's doable. Even if we we think that we don't have time but we can find time it's doable for everyone for sure for sure so, we'll, we'll talk about the doable in a second but i want to cycle back to a few things that you said that are so important and first i think it's amazing the fact that in 30 days that's really short time not only that you're able to lose weight and get back into your own clothes which made you feel better you're also able to reduce the stress which probably some of it has to do with each other so i think those both accomplishments are amazing. And I think what's even more amazing is that you're consistent with it. It's not like a lot of times, you know, people are able to do that for a month or two and then everything comes back and you're already 15 years in the game and you're giving advice to other people and you're also helping other people, which I love that because you were able to light your path. And after you light your path with all the, you know, all the things that you do, all the rituals. So now you're also lighting other people's paths, which is amazing. Uh, before we go to those actual tips, uh, I want to say it's, I really, you know, I honor, you know, people like you that actually put for themselves a goal and consist and achieve it. And I also want to talk about, uh, to mention one more thing, you we're talking about number one, at the beginning, you're talking about the nutrition and exercise, well, both of them. And then you also said reducing stress because you could be having, you know, the right nutrition and also exercising but you're in really high stress and you don't sleep and things like that you could still gain weight uh so i appreciate that that, that you brought that into the story that it's a combination you're talking about you know the lifestyle that also important lifestyle by the way could be different for different people but i i want so i really appreciate that but i, I want now to I, you know i i hear it in my in my mind all the people listening to it right now and saying well you know mina i really don't have time and it's really nice what you're saying, but you know, it's, it's not really for me. I, I have crazy, you know, crazy life. Everything's going crazy around me. And since I know you also had a stressful time also in your job and also, you know, with yourself and you're commuting on the road so many hours every day, is, are there like a few advice, uh, advices that you could give people listening right now, what they could do? And we, we could maybe give, you know, two, three, three, you know, act, action steps that people can actually take because it's nice when people listen, but that's not enough if they want to create a change in, in their life, if they want to light their path. And then the people surrounding them, they also need to do something. And so do we. So I would love if you yeah. could give a few simple, you know, you, you give a lot of advice to people. So if you could give us 
a few simple uh, tips how, how we can maybe make that uh, the nutrition, the exercise, you know, uh, bring it into our life, even if we're busy. Of course, but before giving uh, a few tips is, uh, I wanted to mention that stress uh, lead to eat uh, more, to eat uh, tasty sugar ice cream snacks, <laughs> and this leads to gain weight. And also stress leads to have uh, bad quality of sleep, etc. There are there are a combination of a lot of things. And if we don't uh, decide how we want our life, how we want to, to live our life, we can be um, a victim of this busy life, or we can come take control of all these things and uh, take the decision about how we want uh, our uh, life. So uh, there are, uh, yeah. So uh, uh, I think first decide which life you want to live, which life kind of life. Do you want to be healthy, energetic, having a good quality of life? Or do you want to be in a hurry all the time and without uh, living the life you deserve? And when we know uh, what we want, we, we take the decision to have uh, the life we want. And this is uh, so... Um, The doable decision. for everyone because for me I, in the beginning I was thinking now I am um, I have full time job um uh, and I have a hectic life uh, there is a lot of stress I don't have time all the, these things I was thinking about but when I decided to change everything I find time for everything and I started to uh, first have a good daily habits every day and be consistent every day because if we want a long-term result it's little steps every day that we do we don't uh, have results in few days so uh, for me for example uh, some tips uh, that i follow every day even now it's uh, having a time morning Every morning I can exercise, sometimes even 10 minutes or 20 minutes, depending. But for me, I love doing a workout. So every morning, 30 minutes for me. But people can, can have only 10 minutes, they can do exercise because there are a lot of exercises that we can do at home when we get up in the morning. We can start our day doing this exercise, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, even 30 minutes, it's doable. Because when we did this exercise, when we wake up, we have energy all the day. So when you start, you will see the benefits and you want to continue every day. Okay. Uh, another yeah, another tips, for example, at lunch, instead of from, uh, I'm talking especially for those who have a full-time job front of their computer and they want to move. And uh, sometimes they think that, that they can't move, they don't have time. At work, it's better to move even Two minutes, three minutes every 21 hour. Don't sit down all the time from the computer. Once an hour? Now, for example, when if we start to work four hours uh, in the morning after we have a lunch break after in afternoon, during these four uh, hours, we can move from time to time, even from one, two minutes moving uh seeking for water or something but moving and there are some exercises that we can do even in a seated position have a good uh, breathing uh, it helps us to breathe well and to, to work our abs we can move our legs for example 
And sometimes there are uh, some few um, tips that can help. For example, at lunch break, instead of sitting for an hour discussing, yeah, it's good from time to time to share uh, lunch with the colleagues, but sometimes taking 15 minutes to go for a walk after lunch, it's mm. great as well. And also in the evening, always having 10 minutes of stretching of uh, doing some exercise uh, are really, really helpful to maintain. Show me something that you did, uh, like. Yes, um, right? for something. example, at, yes, at work when we are uh, in a seated position all the time, we can take just two minutes and uh, work in uh, our uh, arms like this. And uh, it helps us to uh, muscle our, uh, our uh, arms. And also, for example, uh, there are a lot of exercises that we can do uh, uh, in a seated position. So um, I think that uh, yeah. first is the willingness to do something so as to have a good body shape. When we decide to to do this, we can find a lot of uh, tips, a lot of movement that we can follow and uh, do that. Uh, yeah. Even in a seated position, because at work we notice that people are well seated, yeah. Yeah. but it's good to have uh, to maintain our um, uh, posture so as not to have back pain, uh, etc. So, um, and it's, um, yes, it's doable for everyone to find even a few minutes to exercise. And uh, once a week, um, for example, uh, on Saturday or uh, on Sunday, doing a deep exercise so as to, uh, to move all the body is uh, very good. Wow. Wow, Mina, that that's that's so amazing! All the information you just now shared, because it could literally, you know, you know, save people's life. Not only life, also money. What do I mean by that? Because first, when people don't exercise, you know, too much, and they're not in a healthy lifestyle, they could find themselves getting heart attacks and things like that. And it would also save people money uh, because they need to go of less course. to the doctor. But f f forget about money and forget about the life. Like that's going all the way there. And like in the day to day, like you said. It helps you feel better, help you reduce the, de the depression. It doesn't mean that it won't be hard times, but what I really loved in what you said is, you know, I would have thought that maybe you'll start talking to me, like just start the beginning with exercise tips, moving at lunch, moving at that. But you first spoke about the decision, the importance of the decision. Because if, that, if, the, if, if the person doesn't make the decision, so they'll, just, they'll go with the flow for a week, for two, but then it would, it would just continue and they'll forget about it. So I really appreciate you putting that emphasis at the beginning on the decision that we need to make that decision that we want to have a better life and be committed to that like you are like you were back then like you are right now and it's also so beautiful how you make it so simple and you make it that in, into a form that like everyone can do also in terms of the time you know like, like you said exactly. even 10 minutes and do, doing something which is better than nothing and now it's it's not crucial I think necessarily what exercise because you showed you know exercises and actually I, I connected to that that you didn't go too much into the details because each person could do whatever exercise is good for them and there yes. are plenty of exercises out there you know just google them up but you build right now the structure for people to do now inside you know that structure they could put whatever is best for them but you made it so simple that each person could do and it's exactly. really helpful so I, I really appreciate you know get, giving this advice making it simple and first putting it in the mindset at the beginning of making that decision. Yes. That's because, beautiful. Yeah, because it's a cycle. When we don't feel good, we go to eat uh, junky food or a uh, chocolate bar or something like this. If we start to behave like this, we can gain weight. And if we gain weight, we can start to have health problems. And health problems lead us to, to be stressed, to 
uh, and it after it impacts a lot of things. So it's a cycle. But when we move our body, we start to to feel uh, good, to have a clear vision. Because when we move our body, the blood circulation uh, do the work. And we have a clear vision about what we want. We start to think well. So movement is uh, beneficial for a lot of things. And um, it's uh, free. We can move uh, without going to, without having a membership uh, at the gym. We can just walk. Walking is a good uh, exercise. So there are a lot of things to do. Uh, to have a good body shape, to be healthy, to have energy. And when we have uh, all these things, we sleep well, we are not stressed, we think well, and we don't stress about uh, money, health, all the stuff. Wow, that, that, that is so beautiful. How, how you tie everything together, you know, the movement, the nutrition, uh, the reducing stress. I, I think that's so beautiful. And I just want, you know, towards then to, we spoke about, you know, spoke a little bit about nutrition and the movement that we can do. Is there maybe one advice you could give people in terms of reducing stress? A lot of times when we go into that right, you know, regiment of exercise and uh, nutrition, the stress will also reduce. But is there something specific you can, you know, uh, give people advice on what to do in order to reduce some of the stress? So uh, um, I think that uh, there are a lot of kind of stress, but. Uh... It's a decision as well. It's all about mindset. We can choose to be stressed or not. If we want to have a uh, serene life without stress, we get to be organized and do the things in advance instead of stress and uh, dealing with the uh, deadlines. Yeah, so, uh, yes, to be well organized, to take time to take care of self because it's very important to have time for self and to take care of self. Uh, for me, as women, I like massage. I like uh, t taking care of me. I can just take a, a book and read in a calm place or listen to uh, music or do something, go for a walk in uh, uh, a park, uh, wow. etc. There are a lot of things that we can do to lower stress lower. So, uh, uh, yes, uh, yeah, sometimes but... just not to check the phone all the time because <laughs> sometimes it's stressful. News, I did not watch uh, news, for example, because sometimes uh, when we watch TV or news, we can stress about all what is going uh, around. So sometimes it's better to uh, prepare our environment so as to feel good, not to be stressed. We yeah. uh, be well organized and prepare your meals, prepare everything in advance so as not to be stressed. Wow, yeah, so, so many great tips, you know, whether it's our environment, whether it's things we can do for our souls. But I think the comment for all of them is investing in our souls. And I think if, if we won't do that, we'll be eventually forced to do that in this way or another. So, uh, <laughs> better to do it before that we could also enjoy you know what, what we do and actually do things that help us feel better when we feel better so you know we bring more of our light out to the people around us which is beautiful i mean i i really appreciate all of, you, all, of the, all of your time today and all of the amazing you know wisdom and you know uh tips that you brought here on the, on the channel i think all of them can really help people and i advise people start step by step don't you know, if, if, if you never did exercise or you didn't really start nutrition, don't try being, you know, like at the top of uh, the nutritionist or the exercise, uh, you know, regimens that people take for themselves. Start with small steps and then just be consistent. Now, if, if people want to listen, I know you also work a lot with women. If people want to find more about you, where can they find you? Is there anything like, are there other places they could find you? So uh, thank you for having me. And uh, as you know, I have uh, my podcast, Wellness All Seasons. And in this podcast, I have guests who share a lot of uh, tips 
and it's uh, very interesting. So it's available on uh, Spotify. And, I'll, I'll uh, put in. I'll put in the links below. I'll put in. Yeah. The... So uh, wellness all seasons, and the people can have uh, healthy lifestyle tips to follow to feel great. Amazing. And amazing. Uh, uh, I'm on Facebook group. Uh, you you can join my Facebook group. Stay fit with me now. Amazing. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, Mina. I appreciate your time. And we'll be in touch. Have a great day there in Paris. Thank you for having me and have a wonderful day too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video and got some tools to overcome your challenges and light your path. If you haven't yet, please smash that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget the most amazing things in life are the ones you take for granted.